Hello everyone, welcome to the Linux Hint. In this video, we are gonna talk about top 5 lightweight web browsers for Linux. Various Linux distributions provide a number of lightweight browsers that can easily run without consuming too much of your machine's memory. So without any further ado, let's get started and let's see that what are top 5 lightweight web browsers that you can use on your Linux system. The number one web browser is gonna be Midori. Midori browser is a lightweight, fast, free and open source web browser. The browser follows a minimalistic design and it provides users with a clutter-free and easy to use interface. It comes as pre-installed browser in Linux distributions such as Manjaro and elementary operating system. The browser supports HTML5 and comes loaded with standard features such as bookmark management, tabs and windows management and configurable web search. DuckDuckGo is the browser's default search engine, which is a great search engine for those search from user profiling done by majority of the search engines. On top of that, Midori also features a spell checker and extension such as ad blockers. Midori can be installed on the Linux by using apt and snap package. So in order to install the Midori on Linux, First of all, you have to update your apt repository cache. So right on your terminal sudo apt update. Alright, the apt repository cache is updated successfully. Now to install the Midori by using apt, write the following command on your terminal. sudo apt install Midori. That is essentially the name of this web browser. So hit enter. Press Y here to continue the installation process and hit enter. Alright, Medori web browser is successfully installed on my Ubuntu. We can also install the Medori using the snap package. So in order to install the Medori by using the snap package, first you have to make sure that the snap is available on your system. So in order to install the snap, if it is not available on your system, then write on your terminal sudo apt install snapd. The snap is already installed on my system, but if you are installing it for the first time, then it will take a couple of minutes. After the successful installation of snap, now you are able to install the Midori by using the snap. So in order to install the Midori by using the snap, write on your terminal sudo snap install Midori. So it will install the Midori on your system. Now go to your application menu and search for the newly installed browser by writing the name in the search box and this is the Midori web browser. Open it www.google.com The speed of this browser is amazing and it is very easy to use. So that's it about this browser. Now let's move on to our second web browser. The second web browser is Falcon. Falcon is a free open source web browser that is based on Qt web engine. It is available across platforms such as Linux and Windows. It is a lightweight browser. Falcon comes packed with features typically found in popular browsers such as Chrome and Firefox. Some of the most notable features include speed dial-up homepage, web feeds, bookmarks, option to change the theme of the browser and a built-in ad blocker plugin. Falcon can be installed on Linux by using the apt and the snap package. In order to install the Falcon by using the apt, write on your terminal sudo apt install and now write the name of the browser that is Falcon. Hit enter. So it will take 300 megabytes of additional disk space on your system. Press Y here to continue the installation process and hit enter. Alright, the Falcon web browser is successfully installed. It can also be installed by using the snap if it is enabled. So write the following command on the terminal to install the Falcon browser by using the snap. And the command is sudo snap install falcon. 
So when you will hit enter, it will install the Falcon browser by using the snap package. Now go to your application menu and search for this browser. Open it up. So this is the Falcon web browser. Search results provided by DuckDuckGo. So let's write here Google and search on web. So it is very efficient and fast web browser. It has very good user interface. And the theme of this browser is very beautiful and catchy. Uh, so that's it about the Falcon web browser. Now let's move on to our next web browser that is Qt browser. It is a free keyboard focused browser with a simple and minimal interface. It is based on Python and PyQt5. It is available across multiple platforms such as Linux, Windows and Mac OS. This browser uses the DuckDuckGo as the default search engine. Unlike the traditional browser that rely on mouse input for navigation, this browser provides a keyboard focused navigation option as well. This browser is highly customizable and allows users to map scientific key binds to their favorite website. To configure this browser, you can go to this URL and you can configure your web browser as well. You will find a lot of information here that how you can configure your Qt browser. This browser can be installed on various distributions using their own package manager and repositories. For a complete list of official and unofficial packages, visit their website. It is their website. So whenever you have to install your browser, you have to see the commands from here. For example, if you want to install this browser on Ubuntu, so what you have to do, you have to download some basic libraries to use this browser. So simply you have to copy this line, you have to paste this line on your terminal and add sudo before this command and hit enter. Enter your sudo password here. Alright, the libraries are already installed on my system and now let's see the command. If you want to install this on your Debian Buster Ubuntu 18.04 LTS or Linux Mint 19 or this command will also work on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS as well and Linux Mint 20 as well. So copy this command sudo apt install Qt browser and paste this command on your terminal and hit enter. It will install the Qt browser on your Ubuntu. Press Y here to continue the installation process. Our browser is successfully installed. Now go to your app menu and search here for this browser. So this is the browser application, cute browser application. Click here and open it. The DuckDuckGo is the default search engine for this browser. So you can search here for anything. And this browser looks very amazing in terms of the graphical user interface. The next browser that we are going to discuss is Otter Browser. Otter Browser is an open source browser. It is fast, lightweight and feature filled web browser. Few of its noticeable features are password manager, content blocking, customizable CGI, URL completion, spell checking, bookmarks, mouse gesture and user style sheets. Some of these major planned features include tabs grouping, extension support, form auto completion, mail client and a BitTorrent module. Otter browser can be installed on various Linux distribution. So there are multiple ways to install this Otter browser on your Linux system. The first method is install Otter browser using the app image. This is the easiest way to get Otter browser on multiple distribution. Download the latest app image package from the official source watch project. So go to this URL. And from this URL, you can download the app image for Otter Browser. Once the package is downloaded, go to your downloads folder. This is the Otter Browser app image file. Right click here and go to properties. 
Now go to permissions and click on this checkbox that is allow executing file as program. So in this way you will be able to run this browser. So after doing this double click here and this browser will open. This is the author browser. The default search engine for this is DuckDuckGo. So right here www.google.com the user interface of this web browser is very catchy and it is very easy to use. This browser can also be installed on various distributions using their own package managers and repositories. For a complete list of official and unofficial packages, you can go to this link. This is the GitHub website and all the packages of Otter web browser are available here. So you can follow the instruction provided to install the browser for your specific distribution. The instructions for all the distributions are available on this page. So that's it about Otter Browser. The next and the final browser that we are going to discuss is NetSurf. NetSurf is a lightweight cross-platform internet browser. It features its own layout engine and it is licensed under GPL version 2. Some of its key features include support for HTTPS, URL completion, search as you type text search highlighting and a fast lightweight layout and rendering engine. NetSurf can be installed by using the Pacman. For our clinics and its derivatives, it can be installed via Pacman by running the following command sudo pacman hyphen s netsurf. So this is the command for installing the NetSurf on your Arc Linux system. For the other distributions like Ubuntu, Fedora and Linux Mint, it has to be compiled from the source. The source code and the build instruction can be found on this link. NetSurfBrowser.org Now that you are aware of the basic of some of the top browsers for Linux, I hope you got the point that what are top 5 lightweight web browsers for Linux and how you can download and install them. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this video useful. Keep visiting our website linuxin.com for more useful videos like this. Thank you.